Get shots like this, this, this and this in a matter of seconds. And it doesn't matter how small your room is because this piece of gear needs very little space. So let's talk about the iFootage Copa 3 and the possibilities you get with the monopod. And of course we will also talk about some of the downsides you might have with a product like this but that comes later. The first great thing about a monopod is the footprint because it just takes up so much less space than a tripod. That means that it is amazing if you want to film in small rooms or if you travel a lot then it simply takes up less space in your luggage and it is also amazing for storage because you can just leave it ready to go in a corner or something just put a camera on there and start recording with the tripod you have to take it out for all the legs and stuff like this and with the monopod it's just yeah it's just simple you don't need to do any adjustments you can also get some very nice smooth tilting movements in order to do that you simply have to loosen the bottom screw on the ball head and you're ready to go detaching the legs of the monopod is also an amazing feature because that allows you to leave out in the middle tube and you have a very very compact tripod you can then put the tripod on your desk for example and get some shots from over there or you can put a monitor on there and you can preview your footage or you can also put a little led panel on there and then you have a nice practical light and you can obviously also do that if you have the middle tube attached to the leg but leaving it out just gives you more options for the placement you also have less setup time when you use a monopod in comparison to a tripod because you simply only have one instead of three legs and only having one leg also allows you to move the monopod around way faster when you are in a small room by the way it would be really amazing if you could give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel because I'm quite a small youtuber and I bought the product with my own money so you would really help me out here thank you a monopod can also be used to have like a glide cam on a budget. You can simply lift the monopod up with the camera attached to it and use the weight of the monopod to create smoother movements. So let's also talk about some rather negative things and the first one is filming outside. A monopod is great if you want to get some nice shots when you are inside of a room but if you want to film yourself when you are outside and use a monopod for that then I'd say it's rather risky. If you film in a crowded place and somebody might hit it by accident then your camera and your day will be ruined. However when somebody else films you outside then a monopod is great because it takes up less space and less setup time and some person can keep an eye on the monopod so that it doesn't tip over. It also was surprisingly heavy. I expected it to be way lighter than a tripod because it only has one leg and not three but the difference wasn't that big. If you really want to have a lightweight setup then I guess you have to go with a carbon fiber monopod but I'm just not down to spend that much more money for 200 grams less, something like that. I also had a problem with this product in particular and that is the mechanism to actually trigger the modularity of this product. So to detach the ball head from the tube and also to detach the tube from the legs. It sometimes is quite hard to trigger so I have to apply quite a bit of force to actually get the mechanism to work and use the trigger a couple of times for it to yeah actually function. I don't really know why that is the case but it is the case on the product I have. Maybe it works better on just some other versions of it. Maybe I just have a bad version of it. Um, it's also not the end of the world, but it's definitely something I noticed. So overall, I do think that a monopod is quite a great tool if you want to be more effective when setting up shots inside of your house. And it's also very, very versatile. If you liked the video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this one. I see you in the next one. Out.